Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got a kind of a unique opportunity to compare two different air compressors that are basically identical. So I purchased this one. I'll leave a link in the description and maybe in the one of these corners or whatever um, about me modifying this one. I purchased this myself. This is an all top four by four, you know, they're over landy air compressors. I bought this one and then this one, this company reached out to me, Gob, Gobigi, Gobigi, go, go, anyway. So basically these are both identical air compressors, but there's a couple little differences like accessories, etc. And uh, one thing about this one that's a little bit better than this one. So yeah, let's go ahead and I've already showed you guys this one. So let's go ahead and I guess just open it and show you what they look like. All right, so basically the bags are generally identical. This one came in like this box that had styrofoam and the styrofoam is all stuck to the bag. But otherwise the bags are the same. So there's this. We'll also open this one. Obviously this one doesn't have any packaging because I already opened that one. So what comes in the bag is basically identical. So the, the all top one comes with a hose and it has a built in uh, gauge, air gauge there. And also inside the bag here are the battery clamps. So pretty simple. And then same thing with these, this go buggy. So it has a hose. A little difference here is this one doesn't have a protective cover. It's just a piece of foam. And then it gives you the gauge there. And then there's some, there's the battery clamps. I'd say they are pretty much identical. Even the grip, same exact thing. Let's get this out of the bag. Here's our Gobi Gear compressor and then all top. I mean, these things are basically identical. One difference I see here is all top has like this little cover on top of the actual compressor part oh well don't break it but so it's got some foam and stuff like that there's plastic cover the gobagi is a well that's plastic as well it's just a little bit of a different cover it doesn't have their logo or anything on it um, the all tops switch on off switch is on the side and then the Gobagi is on the top. Another big difference here is this switch doesn't have a rubber cover on it. Whereas the all top is a little nicer. It has a like a waterproof rubber membrane over the button. Now the reason why the air connection piece here is different is because of that. If you watch my video, I modified this to add a pressure switch so it'll shut off once it re reaches a certain pressure. Um, one other thing I have noticed on the all top is there is a pressure relief piece right here and the Gobagi does not have that at all if that means anything to you. Um, there's a couple accessories which I'm pretty sure they both came with. I just kind of threw those aside because I'm not going to use it for airing up sports balls or anything. Um, so let's see what these things are rated at. So the all top claims it has a max pressure of 150 psi 45 amps 200 liters per minute the gobagi says max pressure 150 psi which is the same 45 amps which is the same 
but the air flows a little less on this. This says 180 liters per minute. So if that means anything to you, that's also something to keep in mind. I'll have to throw up the prices of these two. So another thing that is actually a big difference between these two, which is not really apparent because I changed out the air connections here, is the Gobagi comes with, go, Gobagay, I don't know. Anyway, the Gobagi comes with a standard air connection here, whereas the all top is a proprietary connection here. So you can't use a standard air, you know, North American air uh, chucks or whatever here. So this is the original hose. This is the original hose that came with the all top and it does not fit a standard North American air connection. It just kind of comes off there. So that's a pretty big difference between these two because uh, basically if you want to use any air tools or anything with this guy, um, you don't have to make any modifications. Now this does not have a integrated pressure switch, so you'll probably would still end up with kind of a contraption like this if you wanted to do that to this compressor. But if you wanted to use the Gobagi right out of the box and not have to change anything to use your standard air tools, uh, you're set with this one because it has a standard North American, I think these are NFP or whatever, uh, connection. Uh, so you can use anything from Lowe's, Home Depot, you know, whatever you want. So there you go. This is the little air filler upper that go comes with the Gobagi. This actually has a clamp mechanism there, whereas the one that comes with the all top is just a uh, like a pressure fit and it kind of clamps on there. So this one actually might be a little bit easier to use and might make a better connection. That's kind of the physical differences here. You also see like on the Gobagi, the brackets that are on the foot plate are uh, like chrome instead of black. I don't know if that really matters. And they, they both have rubber feet on the bottom. Interestingly, the rubber feet on the all top are bolted on separately from the plate and the compressor, whereas you can, you can actually see the holes, like these plates are exactly the same because there's holes here, but the compressor and the feet are mounted at the same spot. So you could tell they use same manufacturer for basically everything on these. So let's go ahead and um, I actually do have low tire pressure on the frontier here. So let's go ahead and give the new one a try. And uh, I've already shown you a test on this guy. So let's go ahead and give this a try, hook it up, make sure it works and we'll give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. All right, guys, so we got the Gogabi air compressor here and using the hose that came with it. So again, like I said, you can use any hose you want because they don't use a proprietary connection there. So that's pretty nice. And I do like this clamp mechanism here. So yeah, it seems to hold on pretty well there. And I'm down to 25 PSI, so we need to go up to about 35, I think. So let's see how this goes. All right, so the gauge on the compressor is showing 35. I've got a I've got a separate pressure gauge, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out, see how accurate it is. Got a Boulder Tools gauge here. Exactly 35, so very accurate. I'm gonna have to say that this is much, much quieter. Uh, well, maybe, I don't know. 
let me let me go get the all top and and then we'll compare all right guys i got both of these connected so here is the goga v then here's the all top So honestly, side by side, they're about uh, they're about the same, but the Gogabi has a little bit lower of a tone to it. But yeah, they're about the same. All right, guys, there's our comparison between the Gobagi and the All Top air compressor. So, what do I think about the Gobagi? It's actually really good. Um, you know the. CFM isn't quite as high as the all top, but uh, I really do like that it doesn't use a proprietary air chuck connection. And, you know, other than that, it's basically the, the same thing. So if I were to do it over again, I'd probably get the Gobagi uh, because of the non proprietary air connection. Although I did change out the uh, air connections for the pressure switch when I did the modification to the all top I had to find a adapter piece online I got it at McMaster car whereas the go Biggie, I would have never had to find a weird connection to adapt it so yeah I think probably I would have gone with that they're they're both good air compressors it seems um, you know I don't I don't have a long review of the all top because I haven't had it and I haven't used it that much, um, but uh, you know, it seems to be great. The big thing about using the all top though for off-road purposes is the waterproof switch, which is kind of nice. The rest of it is not waterproof. So, you know, if you got water in there, it'd be messed up anyway. I want to thank GoBiggy for sending me this air compressor. Um, I really appreciate it. You know, they didn't have any say in my video. I'm just kind of I had the opportunity to compare the two because I already had the all top. So, um, you know, they didn't give me any money or anything. I just, uh, they sent me an email and I said, sure, send it over. So there you go. Um, should you get the Gobagi? Sure. Yep. About the same. So you might as well buy that one uh, for the non-proprietary connector. So, you know, there you go. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I really don't like becoming a review channel. I, I don't intend that, but you know, this time of year, it's winter time. We haven't had a chance to go out and go camping. So this is all I got right now. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you.